Manhattan Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. Two crew members are halfway through their year in space. Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko clocked in their 171st day in space on September 15th. And as they enter the second half of their mission, there are a number of important milestones on the horizon. On October 16th, Kelly will pass NASA astronaut Mike Fink's mark of 382 total days in space, becoming the new American record holder. Then, just under two weeks later, Kelly and Kornienko will break the Expedition 14 crew's record of 215 straight days aboard the ISS. And they'll be raising the bar quite a bit by the time they come home on March 3rd next year, spending 342 consecutive days on the station. Of course, it's all about the science, and for the next six months, the one-year mission is heading into the unknown. Kelly and Kornienko are serving as subjects in scientific experiments focusing on seven key areas of human research. One of the most complex studies that's been taking place is called fluid shifts, and it's looking to solve the troublesome issue of changes in astronaut vision while in microgravity. All of the human research for the one-year mission is designed to prepare us for exploration way beyond our planet. Coupled with Scott Kelly's twin study, the next six months are going to be packed with research for this record-setting duo. If you aren't already, be sure to follow Scott Kelly to watch the second half of his mission unfold. You can follow at Station Commander Kelly on Twitter and Instagram, where he's been sharing hundreds of pictures and videos from his time in space. And we've partnered with the White House so you can send Kelly and Kornienko your best wishes as they continue this historic mission. You can also head over to nasa.gov slash one year for all the latest news. Keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.